I don't know if it's just me, but it felt like the pacing of these last two chapters have been very slow. I'm not saying necessarily it's a bad thing, because as we all know how Kubo usually does, he usually makes the overall fights a quick pace fast, and he rushes through them to where we don't get to see a lot of the battle action scenes, and usually it's one-sided. I notice he's taking it at a slower pace with Kenpachi finally getting, you know, brought back into the series and getting to demonstrate his power. So I feel like even though this was slow-paced chapter and it didn't have a lot going on, I did enjoy it for overall because Kubo is actually trying to take time to develop more of Kenpachi's actual character and getting to see his moveset. So really, what actual major importance was this chapter to the overall plot? Did it progress anything, honestly? It really shows that Kenpachi has become more of a tactician, more of a strategic person that thinks ahead. He's not just that brainless brute that rushes in to attack things and kill things like a heartless bastard, but which is badass. Pretty much, he shows that he thinks ahead and that even though he's still crazy and, you know, he's probably overpowered, he honestly is using his strength in a way to protect the people he loves, like Yachiru. He was trying to protect her the way he tried to protect her and told her to leave. When he finds out that she can't run, it's really interesting to see the way his character is in these past couple chapters, the way he's developed, and the way Kubo is trying to emphasize that he's learned a lot since his fight of becoming the real Kenpachi. So, I enjoyed it for these aspects. We find out that also Kenpachi has probably learned a way to mask his Retsu, so... This is interesting. As we all know, he w he cannot use any other moveset. He's pretty much like Ichigo. He cannot use any other type of spiritual moves. He pretty much is nothing but just sheer out force and power and bronze. He just fights with his sword that doesn't transform or nothing. But him to be able to actually hide and mask his Retsu is just really interesting. And it goes to show you the development his character has taken. But this is really the only factors that happen in this chapter. It really was another build-up chapter. And it didn't overall progress the fight in any way or option. I mean, we find out a little bit about the moveset of this uh, Quincy. We find out that he manipulates reality and pretty much when he loses concentration that the reality will go back to normal and Yachiru's bones return to normal. So her bones weren't broken. So it's interesting the way his powers are working. Honestly, it's more to my theories a couple chapters back the way I thought that he probably just manipulating things for a time and it'll return back to normal. So I, honestly, it's upsetting but at the same time, I don't see how this Quincy is the most powerful. Yes, imagination can be a very powerful thing thing and very scary, but I feel like, is this Quincy the proper person to go up against Kenpachi and test his powers, his Bankai, his Shinkai, I mean, is this really the proper character? That is my main question, really, because usually when we see fights with Kenpachi, he's always fighting someone that is, you know, bronze and brute force. Maybe Kubo want to emphasize in this fight that Kenpachi's not all about force anymore. He wants to think ahead and take out his enemies logically, so maybe that's why we're seeing a fight like this with a character that seems to be, like, physically weak. So so maybe that's the way it'll develop, I don't know, but this chapter was interesting, I did enjoy it for what it was, even though it didn't have the overall best, I guess, pacing wise, but I felt like Kubo did another good chapter, because Kenpachi's one of my favorite characters, and we all know how fucking beast he is. So tell me your thoughts on this chapter, everybody, did you enjoy it, did you hate it, what was your favorite moments in this chapter, what did you feel about the imagination, how he loses his concentration, that everything will go back to normal, so tell me your thoughts on everybody, and everybody, I love you so much, Chibi out.